It's been a little over a month now since medical marijuana became legal to buy and sell in Georgia. True Leaf and Botanical Sciences are the only two companies approved. True Leaf is the only company to have operational dispensaries. One is in Macon on Riverside Drive. Ramey Cohen taught up with a mom about the difference it's making for her son who suffers from seizures. Leslie John says her son Daryl used to have seizures all the time. She originally had him on pharmaceutical medications, but nothing worked until she eventually had him try cannabis oil. Daryl Johns was born with hydrocephalus and epilepsy. He's now 21. Before medical marijuana dispensaries opened in Georgia in late April, Leslie had to order his oil online, and it took several days to get to her. But now... To drive 15 minutes and go pick up a bottle and then go back home, it's amazing. It's been a long time coming for Leslie and Daryl. She fought to get her son treatment most of his life, making several trips to Atlanta to meet with lawmakers. When Governor Dale stood up to get a picture, a group picture, Daryl grabbed his hand and kissed it, and as if to say thank you. You know, he has no words, no, he's nonverbal. Ellen Peake, former state representative, filed a bill in 2014 to legalize the medication. Then Governor Nathan Deal signed the medical marijuana bill into law in 2015. The law was named Haley's Hope after Haley Cox, a young girl who had hundreds of seizures a day. Cox is a Monroe County girl whose family started using cannabis oil to help with her seizures. Peak then fought eight years to get the licensed dispensaries here in Georgia. Don't have to go to these extreme measures to be able to find medical cannabis oil, uh, you know, provides a significant amount of relief uh, and peace for these families. The Johns were at the Capitol again when Kemp signed cultivation into law in 2019. It's like four years and then four more years and then here we are four more years later. Leslie hopes it will take less than four more years to get higher THC in the future. In Macon, Ramey Cohen, 13 WMAZ News. On June 14th, the Georgia Board of Pharmacy will hold a public hearing to debate whether to expand access to medical cannabis to local pharmacies. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at how you can apply for a medical cannabis card here in Georgia. The Department of Public Health manages the low THC oil registry. The basic steps to get a card, consult your physician about your need for cannabis oil. Once approved by your doctor, they'll complete that registration online. If you're approved, your information will go into the DPH's secure registry and you'll be issued a card. You'll be notified within 15 days, business days, from one of 18 public health offices that distribute low THC oil. And until then, you can check your status on the Public Health Department's website. The card allows you to purchase 20 fluid ounces of cannabis oil in Georgia. The card costs $25. It's valid for two years from the issue date. You will have to talk with your doctor again and have them update the personal information in order to keep the card. 